when a balloon-winged katydid takes on a tree centipede. It's a battle of the bad guys with only one winner. At first glance, it looks like a green leaf swaying harmlessly in the breeze. But there's nothing harmless about the balloon-winged Katie did. The simplest way to describe the balloon-winged Katie did is that it's a mobile leaf with razor-sharp jaws. It's an ambush hunter with a very straightforward attack strategy. Rush, grab, tackle, eat alive. <laughs> As a hunter, the balloon-winged Katie did has it all. Long antenna to detect prey and danger. Huge hind legs. For jumping and kicking. But up front is the serious weaponry. There are two rows of massive spines on the front four legs, and the balloon-winged caddy did basically uses them to pin the prey down in a spiked cage. A fellow Katie did is easy meat. Legs, wings, head, gone. But what will happen when this ambush hunter crosses paths with the freight train of the forest? This is a killer with a need for speed. A tree centipede that's as long as it is ferocious. The tree centipede has 21 pairs of pointy legs to grip any surface and any prey. Plus one pair of venom claws that plunge into its victim's bodies, injecting fatal neurotoxins. Of all the animals in my lab, it's the centipedes that are the scariest animals because they can just climb all over the place and they do it fast and they've got a strong venomous bite. It's a hyperactive carnivore with a big appetite. So a large Katie did should be an easy snack. But don't count on it. The blooming Katie did isn't one to run away at the first sign of a predator. Remember, this is an animal that's used to winning fights. What will happen? when the prize fighter meets the runaway train. Next, two hard hitters go head to head. Then, a serial spider hunter meets a forest commando. And later, showdown. Claws versus jaws. in this habitat. These are two of the baddest. Tonight, the balloon-winged Katie did is out looking for dinner. So is the tree centipede. And it's picked up a Katie did's chemical signal. The centipede storms in, but stops. The Katie did backs off. It's all the hesitation the tree centipede needs. 
And if it's a large prey item, they will literally wrap around. The back end is capable of holding on to the prey, so they're both wrapping and grabbing with front and back end. Powerful animal. With one trademark blow from its venom claws, the centipede delivers the knockout. The tree centipede is venomous enough that it has a big effect on essentially anything that it bites, everything from invertebrates to vertebrates. It's a strong, potent venom. The katydid is alive, but helpless. Its savage mandibles and spiky legs are useless. The centipede's powerful jaws now go to work. Ripping, tearing, feeding. Centipedes are voracious predators. By the time she's finished with this Katie did, there's nothing left. In Hollywood, the underdog often wins. But when Mother Nature's writing the script, there's usually a sting in the tail.